Hi everyone, today we'll be visiting the fourth station of the cross, and this is the station where Jesus meets his mother. Uh, again, in case you're just tuning in, we've been doing one station each day, and we're following along from the USCCB's Stations of the Cross Overcoming Racism resource, which you can find the link to at the bottom of the page over here. Um, so as we enter into prayer, and as we visit this station, I just ask that you take a deep breath, and ask to be in the presence of God. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon blessed them and said to Mary, You yourself a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. Mary was cautioned from the beginning that the blessing of bearing Jesus would come at a cost. The joys and the sorrows were mingled in her unflinching heart. A mother's pain is no different in communities of color today. When her child suffers, she suffers. When her child is deprived of opportunity, she aches. When her child is beaten, she nurses the wounds. And when her child is murdered, she identifies the body at the morgue. But the pain often begins long before then. African American mothers launch their teenagers towards independence with the talk about how to survive a traffic stop. Undocumented immigrant mothers go to work every day with contingency plans for who will care for their children if they are detained or deported. Jesus looked into the eyes of his mother and felt her pain. Will we be like him and stand with the mothers who store up so much grief and anxiety in their tender hearts? Jesus, although at this time you could not relieve your mother's fears, you did acknowledge her pain. Help us to stand with anxious and grieving mothers and work to end the injustices that besiege them. Amen. So I hope that today you can take some time um, and spend some time in empathy and compassion for those who suffer, for those who are hurting, for those who store up so much grief and anxiety. Think about those uh, who have to Think about things that you might not every single day. And uh, spend some time in prayer and in patience and in love for others.